video is going to show you where and how to download and install the Cheat Device Remaster for both GTA Vice City Stories and GTA Liberty City Stories in a step-by-step -step walkthrough and or guide. Let's get started. Step 1. Make sure that PPSSPP is installed in your phone. If it's not yet installed on your phone, then open Google Play Store for Android phones and tablets and download and install PPSSPP. But if you're using an iOS phone or tablet, open the Apple App Store instead to download PPSSPP. Let me just show you the PSP Emulator app here on Play Store. Just gonna type it in first. There you go, the PSP Emulator app or PPSSPP comes into versions, the free version and the paid version. The main difference between the two, none. We can help the developer of PPSSPP by purchasing PPSSPP Gold. Plus, it benefits the developer to do further enhancements and improvements to the PSP Emulator app. Great job, sir. Step 2. Make sure that you have both GTA Vice City Stories and GTA Liberty City Stories. You can open your phone browser and search GTA Vice City Stories and GTA Liberty City Stories on emulator websites. Two examples of emulator websites are emulatorgames.net and romsfun.com. There are a lot of websites that have games for the PSP emulator app and for other emulator apps and platforms as well, so choose wisely. After downloading GTA Vice City Stories and GTA Liberty City Stories. Go to the Downloads folder of your phone and copy them to the Games folder of the main PPSSPP folder. These are my games for the PPSSPP app. Then there's GTA Vice City Stories and GTA Liberty City Stories below. Step 3. Download the Cheat Device Remastered. Open your phone's browser, me, I'll open Google Chrome. Then search for the Cheat Device Remastered official website. Just gonna type it in the search box. There you go, click Cheat Device Remastered. Then after that, you'll be directed to the home page of the Cheat Device Remastered official website. Information about the Cheat Device Remastered is already here. From its history, screenshots, features currently being developed, to the download links. For every GTA fan out there, including me, this is truly a historical moment. Now scroll to the bottom part of the website. You'll see that the original download links for both the cheat device remastered itself and its user scripts are here as well. Let me show you the CDR first. Now click the cheat device remastered download link you'll be routed to the GitHub official website. I'm not a programmer myself, but according to my source, these files that you're seeing right now still need to be compiled. They are probably source codes that make up the cheat device remastered when compiled. Now click the green code button at the right side and choose download zip. Click the download button on the pop-up message. That's the original way to download the cheat device remastered, which still needs to be compiled. Step 4. Download the Cheat Device Remastered User Scripts. Next to the CD or download link is the User Scripts download link. Click it. It will also direct you to the GitHub official website. Information about the CD or User Scripts are here as well for all of us. Click the green code button and select Download Zip to download the User Scripts. Then click the pop-up Download button. Great, now, there's another option to download the Cheat Device Remastered, which is by joining the official Discord page for the CDR. Step 5. Join the Discord page for the CDR. Still from the CDR website homepage, click the Join the Discord button. Also make sure to install the Discord app if you're using your phone. This is what the Discord app looks like. If you don't have an account yet, then select register and follow the instructions in creating an account there. Let me show you my Discord account. You're looking at the last conversation I had before exiting the app. Everything that you need about the cheat device remastered is here. From hashtag help and support to the most updated version of the CDR is here. 
There are a lot of group chats here sorted according to the user's needs. So anything that you need about the cheat device remastered, you can ask it here. One of the group chats here is hashtag help and support. This is the group chat also called Topics, by the way that helped me when I needed help with the CDR. Our conversation is here back when I asked about the CDR. Any problems or issues with the CDR in your PPS SPP app? Ask it here as well. You can post your questions and or inquiries here accordingly, depending on your issue or concern. That's my inquiry about the cheat device remastered, with detailed explanation. Moving on, let me show you where to download the actual cheat device remastered, the easy way. Look for hashtag releases in the top part of the topics list. Then click the arrow down there beside the cheat device remastered zip file to download it. Perfect! Step 6. Extract the cheat device remastered zip file. Go to the downloads folder of your phone. If the CD or file was saved in the downloads folder in your phone's memory card, then go there. If not, then go to your phone's internal memory or storage instead and look for the CD or zip file that you just downloaded. I'm going there myself now since I didn't see the file in the downloads folder in my phone's memory card. Perfect, there it is. Click the zip file and extract its content. Depending on the phone make and model, sometimes it has options to extract files to a specific path. Okay, looking good. Now we're done extracting files from the CD or zip. Next step is to copy the extracted CD or files to PSP slash plugins path. That's step 7 by the way. Select the cheat device remastered folder from the zip file, including the readme text file. Then choose copy. On my phone, instead it's copy too. Then copy the selected files to PSP slash plugin path, which is a folder in the main PPS SPP folder. As for my phone, click copy here. Wait until the files are copied. The cheat device remastered file also has the user scripts in it, so don't worry. Done with copying the files, step 8. Test both the cheat device remastered and the user scripts. Exit the file manager and open the PPSSPP app. Let's test both the CDR and its user scripts to see if they are working. By the way, PPSSPP stands for PlayStation Portable Simulator suitable for playing portably for those who didn't know. Let's test it first on GTA Vice City Stories. Awesome! The CDR has been read by the PPSSPP app successfully. You can simply press the X button to skip the game introduction. There you go! We can now use the cheat device remastered immediately by pressing the L button and up button at the same time to pull up the CDR menu. That's the cheat device remastered menu right there. Be careful though, activating too many cheats all at the same time may cause the game to either slow down, freeze, or crash. If that happens, just simply exit the game and open it again. Let's test some cheats in the CDR, shall we? By the way, accessing the user scripts menu slows down the gameplay, so just be patient. The best part is that the user scripts are here for us to enjoy. You can go back to the user scripts download link for additional information, as well as creating your own user scripts. Let me demonstrate the cheat device remastered and at least one user script to mess around. Boom! 
die. Ha ha ha. Oh, magic. The cheat device remastered has a lot of features. From freezing the game time and increasing the wanted level manually, to enabling the gather spell cheat or the impulse cheat. Everything's good in GTA Vice City Stories. Now let's test both the CDR and its user scripts in GTA Liberty City Stories. The CDR successfully read by PPSSPP, check. Let's skip the game introduction by pressing the X button while it's being shown. The cheat device remastered read by GTA LCS and ready to be accessed. A big check. Now let's mess around with the cheat device remastered and at least one user script. From changing the weather, infinite ammo and no reload, to spawning any weapon and vehicles right in front of you, is here in the cheat device remastered. Just remember that using too many cheats all at the same time may cause the game to either slow down, freeze, or crash. Just like in GTA Vice City Stories, let me demonstrate the cheat device remastered here in GTA Liberty City Stories. And that's it! Thank you everyone for watching this video about the cheat device remastered for both GTA Vice City Stories and GTA Liberty City Stories. Feel free to like and share my videos, post a comment on what you think or how you feel about my videos, especially this of course. Also follow me and stay updated by subscribing here to my official YouTube channel at the 2012 DJ Wax. Stay tuned for more videos about GTA Vice City Stories and GTA Liberty City Stories, two of my favorite PSP games. Once again, thank you everyone for watching. This is the 2012 DJ West featuring my AI voice, The Excited Man. See you next time. Bye bye bye.